the afternoon guys so carry on from what I'm saying there um, about the COVID-19 lockdown I'm really disappointed to be honest with you I've been watching clips of Good Morning Britain with uh, Piers Morgan and Suzanne uh, whatever your opinion of him is I'm, I'm quite impressed with the way he berates the ministers because it's actually quite unbelievable to think that these they're coming on TV. I have written some names down, but it's not relevant. I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to bash anyone per se, in that, in, you know, verbally or anything. Uh, but you had like the care minister. There was about two or three ministers on there, all related to, and it was astounding that he would just ask a simple question: Why has X, Y, and Z not happened? Can you explain? And then they just want to go off on some, not answering the question, go off some long tangent about well, the plan was to do this and do that and. But and oh, it was embarrassing. It was really embarrassing to watch. In the fact that you know we've had the French president come forward and say our government have failed in these areas. We was woefully unprepared in, in this thing. We've been successful in this area. Just a very open, transparent um, statement from their government. And I pretty you know as, as a as a general public, as a civilian of any country, I think we'd all appreciate that more than this trying to cover your tracks, trying to make out you've done nothing wrong. The fact that, she, you know, this, this care minister for all the um, care homes doesn't even know how many people have died. Didn't have, I don't have those statistics with me. Well, why have you come on a fucking live interview on national television making yourself look like a complete prick and giving all us the, the, you know, the notion straight away, if you've got any intelligence, you'd look at that and say, well, she's clearly, um, you know, the, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, incompetent clearly incompetent like just doesn't give a shit can't how can you honestly say you care sitting there no emotion in the face looking through these glasses with just this complete void look oh, it really fucking annoyed me to be honest with you I can't this is what I'm talking about you know we need to get rid of the people well not get rid of but we need to stop allowing people like this to be dictating what happens in our society they don't give a shit you know and then there were there was the thing was brought up about one of the MPs driving from London to South Wales to visit their f his father on birthday and uh, the other people on there were backing up saying yeah but he's got an ill father and he was taking things well you know I just think I can understand if it wasn't a far journey but from London to South Wales and like Pierce said he's more likely going to have to refuel his car over a journey of that length and he's anyway I won't go into that too much just Anyone can have their own opinion on that, and I get it. We all want to see our family, but that's the whole point. We're all supposed to be making that sacrifice. And then you've got them behaving like that, which, oh, the tower's really starting to wind out. But yeah, you've got that kind of behaviour, and that's, we're supposed to just, we're all supposed to adhere to the rules, but, and then he brought up the whole thing of, well, you know, we've got NHS and care line, uh, front care line workers not getting the, COVID-19 tests they need, but it's all right for Michael Gove and his daughter to be tested when they can work from home and it's clearly not, you know, it wasn't a sort of, it wasn't somebody who was um, seriously requiring that. And it's just a little bit, I don't know what that tower is doing that. I'm so sorry if you can, that's all you can hear, is just a woo sound at the moment. I do apologise. I can't get away from it, to be fair, actually, isn't it? It's a bit dark out here. I look like some sort of monk in this thing. Um, just going. All right, just going to get away from that. I do apologise. So yeah, I'm just. Oh, and the other thing that they talked about as well was, um, I think he talked to one of the ministers about, well, what happened? He said, well, look, we've been looking at, we've been seeing footage of um, Heathrow and other London terminals and airports where people are coming. You know, thousands of people are still coming to the country. And as, what happens when you get off an aeroplane and the guys are sort of like, well, um, unless you're showing any symptoms, nothing. I'm like, are you serious? So we're all got to be on lockdown in our flats and houses and can't go and see our parents and whatnot, but we can allow people from another country to come in. We don't know what their health condition is and they can just go around and do whatever. Like, oh, fucking just, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one to just go for non-compliance just for the sake of it. And you know, obviously, you understand that I'm quite anti-establishment, but 
I've got no qualms. I've, I will adhere to rules if I can see the validity of them. And I'm just not starting to see the validity anymore. The people are still dying. The cases are jumping up dramatically. <sighs> there's not enough. There's not enough PPE. Um, testing has been way too delayed. When we knew about this in January, I just. Yeah, I'm sure you're all listening to the news and I'm sure you're all having these kind of thoughts and opinions, even though it seems to be a bit of a thing at the moment that anyone who speaks out against it is just instantly shut down, which I... No, I don't know. Let's just see if I can go back into the front room because I don't like it. In the bedroom, it's cold in here and there's like an echo as well. I just feel very aware um, of my presence speaking in this room on my own. So yeah, that was it really. Um, sorry, just going. You know, it's still quite loud, to be fair. Getting a lot of messages coming up. Yeah, I hope you can all sort of understand that I do come from a good good place, a good heart. I'm not a malicious person, not a violent person. As much as you might have heard or seen in my previous videos, I was it was like five years ago as well. I was I was thirty years old, I just lost my dad, I was I was out of work, I was very I was very I was more I was I had much, so much more anger at that time. And anger's good in some if it, if there's a little bit of a simmering anger it's good because it can be channeled. Obviously too much, you know, just absolute rage is not good because rage blinds you, like love blinds you as well, to be fair. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else I can sort of pick up on because it is only a short video. Um, well, there's always things. I just don't want to start up a whole new section, you know, a whole new topic on something when I'm already seven minutes into a video and I'm trying to keep them... Yeah, I spoke to a friend actually who said, oh, I've been watching your videos as a subscriber. But brought to my attention, she sort of gets a little bit, loses the attention after sort of 10 minutes. So I'm going to try and keep the videos to around sort of 15 minutes, taking that into consideration that, you know, I do want people to watch the full content. Um, but yeah, I want to do start doing more things. I thought about when the lockdown... Um, when the lockdown is over. I thought about this a couple of years ago. I fancy, I'm never going to be a professional fighter, so I'd, I'd like to do the cancer research thing. So eight weeks free training, raise money for cancer, and then go and perform at a live event. And if I do that, obviously I'll get all that recorded and put that on there. You can all see me in the ring, dancing around, like thinking of Muhammad Ali. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it really. I just. Look after yourselves as much as you can. Respect that social distancing to a degree, but at the same time, I don't think all this. Just keep, yeah, just keep away from people. Whether you want to go out for an hour and a half, two hours, if it if, it, if it's your mental health that's in question here, then you know who is anyone to say that isn't a, you know, that is a necessity to be doing that. Well, it's down, I think it's down to the individual. We're all some are stronger than others. Some people can sit in doors, you know, days after day by themselves and not bother them. Other people, after a day or two, they're, they're, you know, they're literally sort of really feeling lonely and um, yeah, and have to see people, have to be around people, which I can fully appreciate that. So. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I've got for now, really. As I said, I don't want to go into anything further. More, just really, guys, just need just to really push this these videos out there. I know I'm a pain in the ass, keep doing saying this and saying about the subscribing thing, but we need to hit those thousand subscribers. And I've got three at the moment, so we're 997 short. Um, yeah, do all you can for me, and when this all comes to, if it all comes to fruition, you'll understand. You'll, you'll go, okay, that was worth. And it was worth pushing that about to my friends and family and getting a following here because look what he's gone and done now. He's actually purchased some land. They've started, you know, engineers have started mapping out the first eighth of the city and how it's going to, I suppose, well, it'd have to be built in a elongated triangle, really. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that in another video. I'm gonna get a nice big sheet of paper, like A5 size or something like that, so you can see on the camera. I'll just draw a, a made up geographical location of say like London, yeah? And then we'll sort of run through it and sort of, so we would do like somewhere within that map. Okay, you live here. Your doctor's is over there. Aunt Judy's over there and Uncle Pete's lives across the other side of London and you know all these sort of and your doctors are there, your school's there, supermarket, you know everything's all over the place and then you take that into consideration and you think well that's my life and then everyone's in that same situation as well so we're all buzzing around like fucking oh oh I don't know what happened there yeah so we're all just buzzing around when if you create a city that's circular and everyone lives in the suburbs that's circular and you can travel directly in and around and it's all set out linear transport systems it makes so much more sense doesn't it it's free you could be anywhere in a city in a very short period of time if you're on the outer belt and you're in like one eighth of the city and you want to go to another eighth of the city it's, it, you've you've got that option where you can walk. You can walk the beautiful gardens, the lovely, lovely footpaths and see all the trees and all the well cut, you know, maintained grass and... Uh, and people are, and people say, because in this day and age, in the things we are now, we're too quick to be rushing around for monetary, monetary ways, but say you've, say you've, you, you woke up at eight o'clock that morning, um, got in the, Obviously everyone's homes will be different compared to what they're on, what they're into, sorry. So you may get up and you may, it's like really hard. I'm just trying to give somebody an example of what this life could be like. So you can get up in the morning, have some very, really good nutritionist breakfast, get yourself showered and whatnot. You're not, you're not rushing around to go to work. You may work in a research facility. You, you're, 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 um, I don't know the word work, but you're, you know what I mean? You're sort of, your, yeah, your responsibility, I suppose you could say that, within the society is you, you are part of a certain research centre, so that's what you chose to do, that's not, no, no science telling you you must go and work in section AD or whatever, A1 or whatever, it's not about that, it's so you've determined this is what you want to do in your life, you want to research cancer of the eyes or whatever, yeah, so you, you get up, you've done your three hours of research today or four or five hours, and then you want to go and see your family, they live in another part of the city, um, and you've got that option whether you want to take that linear transport or if, you, if it's a beautiful sunny day you may wish to walk but you're not under any under time restriction or anything like that so i hope people can sort of yeah really look at the venus project the tours the videos all these things on youtube um i mean it started gaining a bit of a following around about 2000 and well after zeitgeist came out it started getting a bit of a, a following I don't know. I don't know why people didn't couldn't see that that was the only way really forward. I don't. I've not seen anyone else who's come forward and says, "Well, I've got a blueprint for a society that can work." Everyone else just talking about the problems, which yeah, it's all well and good, but it just fucking goes nowhere at the end of the day. Yes, it wakes people up, but you need a movement. A movement must bring everyone together under one banner. That's you can't. We're not going to come up with this futuristic design of these cities through individually raising, raising their own consciousness, that's not going to happen. So, yeah, really look at the video, really look at the city, try and understand it, try and to um, see yourself within that really, because I certainly can. I would, I would trade that tomorrow, even if it's not perfect, I'll trade that tomorrow for what we currently have now, just looking out the window, constant cars up and down, even though we're on lockdown, Everything's built in all over the place. Everything comes as, uh, as an afterthought. When you know a city with people living in it needs to be a, it needs to be a, a, a living, breathing thing. It needs to sort of, it needs to um, come into come into. Uh, I can't get the fucking words in today. It needs to sort of, yeah, it needs to come into solace with what people are doing. You know, it has to, you know. If, it, if it's self-cleansed to some degree and it's well maintained and it structurally makes sense in terms of travel from point A to point B, that has to be that has to work. That has to be the only way forward than what we've got now. 
so yeah I'm just dribbling on now really to sort of cover time a little bit I think but yeah I'll leave it there um, I'll keep adding more content again guys just keep pushing them out subscribe like comment all of that we need to get these videos monetized um, hopefully I'll have probably about 50 or more videos by then and of course so I'm gonna go back over all my old videos and just make sure I've um, got links attached to them as well so I'll be doing that throughout this evening anyway I'll leave it there take care, take care guys and uh, look after yourselves alright